Happy Sunday. I look so tired. Uh. <laughs> I didn't sleep all that well last night, if I'm being honest. I've been awake for a while, but I'm just now picking up the camera. I've just been laying in bed. Last night was not a good night rest. I don't know why, I just couldn't fall asleep for the life of me. So here we are, tired. Look at these dark eye circles. Oh my God. <laughs> But I'm not going to let being tired get in the way of us spending the day together and I wanted to pick up my camera and vlog today since it's Sunday and as many of you guys know I like to use Sundays to reset for the week so today is when I clean, I do laundry, I grocery shop, meal prep, plan, content for the week all of those fun stuff I like to do it on Sunday just so I'm not overwhelmed during the week and I can start off the week strong so that is what we're going to do. However, before I can even think of doing anything that requires energy today, I need coffee. So let's go make a delicious cup of coffee. Okay, I have my coffee. So now I can actually plan out my day. For today's to-do list, I'm just going to write it on my phone. I just feel like that would be easier for me instead of using my planner today. The first two things that are going to go on my to-do list are actually things that I already accomplished this morning, but I like to start off my to-do list with things I've already done. That way I can check them off immediately. And doing that makes me feel a little bit more motivated because it's like I'm already accomplishing a portion of the to-do list. I don't know how how it works or why it motivates me but it does so the first two things that are going to go on my to-do list are to make coffee which I already did and to make my to-do list which I'm in the process of doing and then the next thing that's going to go on my to-do list is to work out I know it's Sunday and that a lot of people like to use Sundays to relax and to rest their bodies but I still like to move my body in some way even if it's just like walking on the treadmill or doing a quick ab workout i do have rest days during the week so don't think i work out seven days a week because i don't i like putting my hair up I also want to clean. I need to order groceries because we are low on food. Once groceries come, I want to meal prep, do laundry. Luckily, I think I only have to do one load of junk. <laughs> Can I speak? Luckily, I think I only have to do one load of laundry. I did all my bed sheets yesterday and the majority of our clothes. I don't like to do all of our laundry on one day. It just overwhelms me. So I like to split doing laundry between Saturdays and Sundays. I also want to plan out content for the upcoming week last but not least i also want to relax i know it's sunday and we like to be productive but it's important to also take time to relax and to do something that you enjoy so that is what i want to do today even if it's towards the end of the night i want to at least do something that brings me joy and that helps me unwind and mentally prepare for the upcoming week so that could be journaling watching netflix reading a book doing a face mask i honestly have no idea what i'm going to do tonight to relax but i am going to relax that's what's most important place the order for groceries is supposed to come between 12 and 2 it's currently 10 30 so i'm gonna go get a quick workout in and then come back before i head to the gym i think i'm gonna put a load of laundry in so i can just transfer it to the dryer when i come back I 
all right wow just got back from the gym and it was so packed i was honestly so shocked to see that the gym was full with so many people working out but hey love to see it everyone being healthy and fit but i did not have the balls to film in front of everyone so i didn't get no clips of working out but i did work out also kind of proud of myself because the old me would have ran out as soon as i saw how packed the gym was but i stayed got my workout in and i'm hella proud of myself for that but again i didn't get no clips it was so busy in there i think that's the busiest i've seen my apartment gym get like everyone's just motivated today to get a workout in i'm here for it i love it oh my god how old are you <laughs> so annoying <laughs> all right got our little grocery haul for the week we stocked in some essentials that we needed got sweet potatoes rusted potatoes ritz crackers blueberry hemp pasta some juice got some bread bagels i ordered two bagels they only gave me one just notice that. Oh, I have to check if they gave me a refund. Some frozen fruit for my smoothies, peanut butter and jelly, oranges, some peppers, beans, and coffee creamer. Didn't need much, but I'm going to put all this away now and then catch up with you guys in a minute. Honestly, I don't always wear makeup on Sundays, but since I felt so tired, I wanted to put on a bit of makeup to help me feel motivated to get everything done on my to-do list. I'm a huge believer that if you look good, you feel good, you know? Now that groceries are here we can start to meal prep and get ready for the week honestly meal prepping is what sets me up for success during the week because sometimes i'm too tired during the week to even think about what i want to cook for lunch or for dinner and having meals already prepped and ready for me to eat honestly saves me so much time and it's just a game changer ever since i started meal prepping i love it because if i'm tired and i don't have a clue of what i want to eat I'll probably just end up ordering food and you know, we are trying to cut back on how much we order out So if you want to eat healthier and save money at the same time, definitely try meal prepping I still meal prep pretty small. I don't go crazy with my, with my meal preps Even with how small I meal prep, it still saves me so much time later on in the week So I highly highly recommend to meal prep if you haven't done it or at least to cut your veggies, your produce, all of that stuff before hand as soon as your groceries come in that way when you cook during the week you save on time let's start meal prepping <laughs> Oh, 
right, so I finished meal prepping for the upcoming days. I like to cut my bell peppers in advance just so when I cook dinner during the week, I can save a little bit on time by having these pre-cut. So got that done. And then these are my lunches. I sauteed my kale with butter and garlic and some red pepper flakes. Have barbecue chickpeas, seasoned sweet potatoes. And then I made a batch of brown rice. I'm actually going to make some fried rice for dinner tomorrow. And I like to make fried rice with rice that's one day old. It just comes out way better than using fresh rice, if that makes any sense. And then I have some leftover quinoa that I use for my husband's lunches. So for his lunch, I just have brown rice mixed in with quinoa, seasoned chickpeas, and seasoned russet potatoes. I ran out of chickpeas, so he only has a tiny bit of barbecue chickpeas. I'll probably add broccoli or more chickpeas later on in the week. And then I have some leftover potatoes from this meal. I didn't meal prep any dinner meals because I honestly ran out of bowls with all of our lunches for the week. I definitely need to pick up more bowls so I can meal prep both dinner and lunch for a whole week. Instead of meal prepping either lunch or dinner, with more bowls, I can meal prep both and save me a headache later on in the week. I love these bowls that I picked up from Amazon. I'll probably just order the same kind because I love how they're divided. As you guys can see, some have no compartments, some have three, and some have two compartments. So definitely want to pick up more of these bowls. But lunch is all set. I need to put all of this away and then clean up. <laughs> Toys are literally everywhere. <laughs> This corner belongs to my cats. I just put all of their toys and believe it or not, they come here and grab all these toys and they end up all over the apartment. Mopping honestly takes my energy away. I'm literally sweating. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like I feel so gross right now. I know mama. I put all of your toys over here in the corner so you can grab them whenever you want, okay? Yeah. Oh, okay, feisty. I just finished mopping my entire apartment. Now I have to clean up the living room space. Not much to clean, just need to wipe down the coffee table and the TV stand and all of that. I want to buy a cute little toy chest for this corner so I can put all of my cat toys in it and it have it look a lot more organized, but I haven't found one that I like. So I need to keep hunting for a cute little toy chest. If you guys have any in mind, let me know in the comments below. I also want to push back the couch just a little bit so I can have more space in this corner, but I need my husband's help for that, so that probably won't happen today because this couch is heavy as all hell. And I also still need to buy a little table for behind the couch. I just haven't found one that I like, so that's why this space is empty. <laughs> let me wipe all of this down. Thank you. 
all clean wiped down the coffee table the tv stand vacuum the carpets i need to fluff my couch but these two fur babies are sleeping well they were sleeping until i started talking <laughs> hey babies obviously i can't kick them out so i guess i'll fluff it later and the kitchen is nice and clean this makes me so happy now i feel like i can start relaxing but we still have a few more things on my to-do list let's figure out what else we have to do today my husband texted me four times <gasps> my husband just texted me a picture of my dream car parked in a parking lot i've been seeing my dream car literally every day this week and i'm like is that a sign <laughs> Or else it's just torture. That's so funny. What are the odds? I like how he texted me a picture of it though. Okay, let's see what's on my to-do list before I get distracted again. I can't believe I haven't checked anything off. That's like the most satisfying part of completing your to-do list. All right, so made coffee, did that, created a to-do list, did that, worked out. Just finished cleaning, did that, ordered groceries, we did it. Meal prep laundry i still need to put the laundry away <laughs> need to put laundry away plan out content and then i get to relax for the rest of the night all right let's do it we got this i just put the last load of laundry in the dryer let me close this door so you guys don't hear it okay much better so now i'm going to try to plan out my content for the week i think i have an idea of the videos that i want to upload i just want to put them in my planner to make it more official i can't believe it's may guys like what is what is going on here you know what i'm gonna go in pencil because you never know if i change my mind This is the upcoming week and I try my best to upload every two days. Sometimes I upload every three days instead, but my goal for this week is to upload every two days. So you guys will see the Sunday reset go up on the 15th, health vlog on the 17th, maybe, I don't know, 19th reading vlog and the 21st a haul. That is what I have so far for the upcoming week. Time to put all of this away. Well, it shouldn't be too hard. It's mostly towels and blankets, so it should be pretty easy. I'm like ready to call it a night. <laughs> Putting away this laundry is the last thing on my to-do list. I am so excited about that. I just can't wait to relax for the rest of the evening. So I'm going to put all of this away while watching Law & Order Organized Crime because why not? Just finished putting laundry away, so you know what that means. We can officially check that off our to-do list. I already planned out content, check that out, and now I'm about to relax. Honestly, the best part of any Sunday is the part where you get to relax. I'm going to take off my makeup and do absolutely nothing for the rest of the night honestly that's all i want to do but before i relax i want to obviously take off my makeup because the earlier i do my skincare the better for me because if i wait too long to do my skincare then i probably won't end up doing a good job of it i'll show you guys the cleanser that i'm using this is the youth to the people kale and green tea spinach vitamin cleanser if you watch my night routine or my morning routine then you probably already 
now that I use this. I am going to be switching out my skincare this week, so I'm not going to show you step by step what I do to cleanse my face because I love this cleanser, but I feel like my skin is definitely missing out on something. And I'm starting to break out a lot more and I can't tell if it's my foundation from e.l.f. that's breaking me out or if I need to dump a cleanse. I think it's making my skin oily because my skin only gets oily whenever I have that foundation on. But I also want to try to double cleanse to make sure that I'm getting rid of all the makeup. Once I've established like a good, good skincare routine that keeps these little breakouts at bay, I'll definitely make sure to share it with you guys. But for now, I'm just going to get rid of this makeup and get ready to relax. skincare and I'm going to apply this facial mask this is their rose and peptide facial mask hydration and dreamy youth is yours I wish I had under eye patches because I feel like I'm in desperate need of that not so much this face mask but hopefully it helps with my dark eye circles off the facial mask that's why my face is kind of shiny i think i went to end off the vlog here i'm just going to relax for the rest of the night do the rest of my nighttime care routine and take it easy i really hope you guys enjoyed this sunday reset vlog i love filming these types of videos i also love watching them i always get so inspired when i watch these sunday reset videos so i just wanted to give you guys my updated sunday routine let me know in the comments below one thing you like to do on Sundays to get ready for a new week, whether that's meal prepping, cleaning, or doing absolutely nothing to just get mentally prepared for a new week, I would still love to know. So definitely leave a comment down below. And that's pretty much it for today's video. Really hope you guys enjoyed watching my Sunday reset. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.